Welcome to the next module. Now that you have found some data that you're interested in and have spent some time getting to know that data by writing a data biography, we're going to take the next step, which is to officially clean your data and get it into the tools that you would like to explore it with. For the purposes of this course, the two tools we're going to focus on are Tableau Public and uh, Microsoft Excel. Tableau Public is the free version uh, uh, in the Tableau product line, and it does a lot of great things uh, in terms of exploring data and looking at data. Um, if you want to do uh, things with the purchased version of Tableau, which has a few options and capabilities that the free data Tableau Public version doesn't have, uh, one good thing to know is that Tableau does offer discounts to nonprofit organizations. So if you work for or with a nonprofit organization and you're interested in getting Tableau, make sure you talk to the great people at Tableau about the, uh, the options for discounted licenses. The same thing goes for Microsoft Excel. Uh, Microsoft Excel is not a free product, uh, but many people do already have it on their computer, so we are going to use it for this course. And uh, if you are working for or with a nonprofit organization, Microsoft does offer a discounted version, sometimes even a free version, to uh, certain charities and nonprofit organizations. So make sure you look into that. Um, I should note that neither of those comments are sponsored in any way. I just work with a lot of nonprofit organizations um, that need to uh, save money on software in every way possible. However, um, there are most of the things we're doing here can also be done with Google Sheets. And um, various versions of Google Sheets are free or paid, depending on how you're accessing it. Um, and you can essentially do the same thing with Google Sheets that you can with Microsoft Excel. So um, feel free to work in the tool of your choice. Um, we're not going to include a detailed video here on how to download and set up those Tableau Public and Microsoft Excel products because there are very good online resources that can help you do that quickly and easily. And many of you probably already have them on your computers. Um, but if you want to watch the online resources for setting up Tableau Public and or Excel, the links are in our course resources. So definitely feel free to help yourself on, on that. And once you get it set up, there are a few ways to get your data into Excel and Tableau. Uh, much of the data that you will get uh, coming to you from the web or from uh, in-person sources or data that you might collect yourself will, will start out its life in the form of an Excel spreadsheet. Um, that's not always the case, but it's pretty common. So getting data into Excel usually involves opening the, the spreadsheet, um, whether it's a CSV or uh, an XLS file. Getting data into Tableau is slightly more complicated, but, but very intuitive. You simply uh, go to the file and then open, and um, you can import a wide variety of different data sources into Tableau. And both Tableau and Excel have the ability to collect, connect live to data resources on the web. If you're working in Excel, uh, you can go to this tab here and choose to connect to a web resource or, or an external database. If you're in Tableau, they have um, these new, interesting new things called um, web data connectors. Uh, they came out, I believe, in version 9 of Tableau Public. And a web data connector allows Tableau to import through, basically through an API, um, data directly into Excel. And a lot of them are already set up for you. So for example, if you want to work with United States Census data, you can do that um, without having to go to the website and download a huge amount of data and then suck that data into Excel. You can simply go to the web data connector and then look in the Tableau community web data connector resources and there's a very nice list of web connectors that are already there. So click on the one for the American Census, import it into Tableau, and there you go. You are set up with full access to the American Census data in Tableau with a few simple clicks. 
So um, these are the best ways to get data into Excel and Tableau. Uh, and once they're in, you need to take some time and clean up your data and then start analyzing it. Um, in reality, the most common way that I can tell from the various journalists and analysts that I've worked with over the years, um, the most common sort of workflow tends to be um, doing some basic data cleaning in Excel, then importing the Excel sheet into Tableau and doing the rest of the data cleaning uh, as a visual iterative process between Tableau and Excel. So that's what we're going to be demonstrating in the next module. And we will be using uh, data from a very interesting project in Papua New Guinea. So get uh, your computer set up with a, a version of Tableau Public and a version of Microsoft Excel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.